Mayor, off topic, if we could. Um, another person has joined the race uh, to challenge you, another member of city council. Um, with the field continuing to grow, are there are political observers who think this is, uh, you know, a suggestion that you are vulnerable. Do you feel vulnerable with all these people jumping in the race? No. Why not? Why should I? <clears throat> I think I have a record of accomplishment over these last three and a half years that um, demonstrates um, real progress and delivery for the residents of the city. I'm very proud of the work that we've done. I just went through a list of things that we've been able to accomplish against a lot of daunting odds. Um, so I'm going to be focused on the two things that are my top priorities, that is public safety um, and um, making sure that we have an equitable and inclusive recovery. People are going to jump in. This is a silly season. It's going to happen. I remain focused on making sure that I deliver every single day for the residents of the city. Um, and if I continue to do that, I feel very optimistic about re-election. One of the things Sophia King has apparently said is <coughs> that uh, one of the first things she would do is fire Superintendent David Brown. Where, where do you stand in your confidence of Brown, and, and is he the right person to continue leading the police department? Everybody that jumps in says the exact same thing. And I say the exact same thing when you ask me the question. I have total confidence in David Brown. We're making remarkable progress. We're down um, over 16% in the homicides, almost 20% in, in shootings. You don't get that um, without a determined, focused leader at the helm. And um, I hope you report the realities of what's happening in our city when it comes to violent crime. We're making incredible progress. We've got more to do. Nobody's taking a victory lap, least of all me, and I know he isn't. We've got to remain focused and diligent. But in the, in the face of um, these remarkable accomplishments, it's astounding that people would even question a change in leadership now. That would be foolish, and frankly, it, it suggests to me people that don't know anything about public safety, local policing, or someone who is a notable national expert, um, well regarded as David Brown. He has my total confidence. And you keep asking me the question, and I'm going to give you the exact same answer every single time. Mary Annie here. Mayor, uh, if we could go back to Robert Boyk for a second. Uh, his email is rather detailed and included that if the elimination of gender-based violence training, for instance, if you take away the 46 individuals removed, uh, it will result in 21 fewer instructors. So how does that, are, are you saying he's just not saying the truth? What, I, you didn't address. So I'm not, I'm not going to get into all of those details. I've been very, very clear that I am committed to making sure that we continue to make progress on police reform. That's sacrosanct. We will never take any steps back, and we're not going to take any steps back. But I will also say this. Every single day, our brave men and women are out there on the front lines. Every single bureau within this department has been asked to give some additional resources for officers who are doing non-police work to contribute to the crime fight, to help with security on the CTA. Every single bureau has said yes. There can be no exceptions, period. Obviously, there's not enough, not enough officers then. I'm sorry? There's not enough officers then. Well, I don't think that that's, that's correct either. But as I said, it, it is, I don't get into the details of a now fired employee who sends off a, an email. You, that's fodder for you guys. That's your drama, palace intrigue, not mine. Michelle. I got to focus on, I, I got to hold on. I got to focus on the task at hand, which is making sure that we deliver for our residents every single day. Could I ask you as well, more details now have come out through a FOIA on uh, NASCAR. Parts of Grant Park will be closed for more than a month, uh, and there are no detailed plans for any repairs if needed. How is the $500,000 permit fee the best deal? Well, I think that what you received is the park district contract, which is obviously not comprehensive. So again, I'm not going to get into the specifics. We continue to work with NASCAR to make sure that we minimize the disruptions to traffic and that we minimize um, any um, damage uh, to our roads 
Um, more details will uh, be revealed once we have all of those plans in place, but I continue to remain confident that this is a very good deal for our city. The level of excitement that I have seen from people that, frankly, were probably closeted NASCAR fans all across our city, um, I think it's off the charts. I think it will give us a tremendous opportunity to showcase Chicago to a global audience and will redound to our benefit. Uluwale. Uh, good morning, Mayor. Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Olawale, the publisher of online magazine, Africa USA Today magazine. I was very excited when you traveled to Western Europe, precisely uh, London and Paris. But I did not follow up on uh, the outcome about the, uh, bringing the economy to Chicago. Could you brief on the uh, sure. outcome of the sure. success? Um, we, as, uh, as you indicated, we spent time in London and Paris, and our primary focus there with our delegation was to um, educate uh, potential businesses that are looking to expand uh, or come to the United States about the benefits of doing so in Chicago. And I think we made a compelling case, not only about the strengths of Chicago's specific economy, but as Chicago as the gateway to the Midwest to markets in Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, Indiana, and other places. Um, I'm excited about the opportunities. We focus a lot on tech entrepreneurs um, and also other manufacturing businesses. And the, the World Business Chicago right now is following up on a lot of leads that have come from those discussions, both in London as well as in Paris. I believe that we're going to see businesses come here as a result of uh, the I'll call it a trade mission um, that we engaged in. In addition to that, we spent time uh, with the teams and the mayors of both of those cities looking at innovative things that they have done around economic development, repurposing um, brownfields, uh, repurposing other areas of the city to bring economic um, uh, development and vitality to areas of both of those cities. Um, I'm excited um, at what we saw and what we learned, and we're definitely going to be able to take some of those lessons learned and implement them here. Plus, um, we are going to also be engaged in sharing information uh, with them about things that we've done, both around our environment, um, about uh, policing initiatives. Um, so the building those closer relationships and those synergy, synergies, I think, are going to redound to the benefit of the city uh, for years to come. Um, and we, we just had a terrific uh, trip and opportunity because we did the hard work ahead of time through World Business Chicago. Chicago, um, but really opening up the eyes of a European audience to Chicago. Many Europeans I'm coming to learn if what they know about the United States is New York or the West Coast. We want to make sure that they don't fly over and forget about Chicago and the great Midwest. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks, thank everyone. You, Have a great day. All right. Thank you.